So most of my advanced students can't really tell me the difference between these two sentences. Harry and Meghan live in California or Harry and Meghan are living in California. Does that surprise you? I mean, it's just present simple and present progressive, but a lot of students don't actually know what the difference in meaning is in these sentences. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know and understand and use them correctly. Here we go. I'm teacher Ryan. I love the beach. I love pizza. And I really love the English language and teaching you. Okay. So let's look. Now we have simple present. Harry and Megan live in California. You know, like Prince Harry, huh. a simple present is something that's always true. And that's what 90% of my students will tell me. Present progressive or present continuous is something that's happening now. Most of my students will say that present simple is always true or that it's a habit and they are absolutely correct. Also, most of my students will say that present progressive is something that's happening now and that is also correct. But then doesn't that mean I could use both of these sentences and it doesn't matter which one? No, not correct. So we're going to explain why. First of all, Harry and Meghan, I have a little message. Now I know that you're in Buckingham Palace before and that didn't go out so well. So now you're in California and I'm in California. Okay, so if you're watching this video, it's okay. You can leave me a message, you can do a comment, and then you can call me and we can go surfing in California if you want to, because I'm in California and you're in California and we could like hang out. So, you know, just let me know. Okay, <laughs> just had to say that. Okay, if Harry and Meghan live in California and it's permanent, like they're always going to be here and they have no idea in their mind that they will change in the future. Then they're going to say, yeah, I live in California. Okay. However, present progressive, sometimes students don't realize that it also means that it's an action that is unfinished, meaning it could change. It has the possibility of changing, right? It's not complete, right? It's not decided. So if I think that maybe Harry and Meghan are only living here temporarily, um, then I can say Harry and Meghan are living in California. So if you use present progressive, the listener is thinking, hmm, I wonder if it will change. So you should use present simple if you don't plan on changing where you live and you should use present progressive if it's just temporary, even if temporary means five years, that's okay, right? So these are super common questions that people ask in small talk. And if you wanna practice more small talk, Here's a video to help you out. And now you know which sentence you should use. And remember Harry, Megan, especially Megan, you wanna go shopping? Like, let me know. Okay, just, just message me. It's fine, guys, you can just message me, okay? Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. I'm really nice. 